What is up, you guys? Peter Carlo here doing an update on Palantir. It has been a couple of days, so I figured I'd hop in and give you guys an update. Before we get started, hit the like button, subscribe. Check out our Discord community. We're over 6,200 members strong. You guys get access to tons of free courses, live streams, seminars, webinars, and we are growing in 2022 to hopefully become the biggest and the best free trading community with over 6,200 6, members strong in only our first six months of doing this. So go ahead and check it out, guys. The link is in the description. Now, looking at Palantir, if you guys remember a couple of weeks ago back in the middle of february going into earnings we saw this rising wedge that we've been talking about we had a massive gap down massive drop to lows of ten dollars and we talked about that drop to ten if you guys remember like back in the beginning of fall i had a position in palantir up around 22 dollars, and a lot of people are like dude you sold because i ended up closing it down i think about like 19 or 18 i can't remember and they're like dude you sold you should have held you're gonna regret it i don't regret it at all this is the exact reason why i ended up selling it it wasn't necessarily because i thought the palantir was going to significantly drop but it was just the fact that like i did not believe that it was worth holding on to the position just because we were down like the the whole idea that you know <laughs> and you guys a lot of people get mad about this but the whole idea of just holding on to something because it's at a really good price if you're not a long-term investor it just doesn't make sense to me and even if you are a long-term investor sometimes you have to look yourself in the mirror and be like is this the company i thought it was when i invested in it have things changed do i really love this company or was it a trade and now i'm a long-term investor like these are all things that you guys have to ask yourself and you guys have to think about when you're looking to, um, you know, take a position in a trade. So for me, that's why I closed it out. So we had this ascending triangle, we ended up, or ascending wedge, we ended up breaking down and now we're using support down here at 1036 and we've been bouncing between 1036 and $12 basically for the last month or so. Uh, one thing to notice here is that volume has been very, very low, especially after earnings volume has gone back to be very, very low. RSI now is finally starting to point up, not quite having a, well, no, we did get a divergence. We, we ended up having a lower low on March 15th and the RSI was up here at about, 34 and the RSI last time on March 14th was down at 24. So in the one hour, we have had a divergence, but RSI starting to point up. MACD is attempting to cross, but we just need volume. So at this moment, I wouldn't necessarily say like this is a perfect buying opportunity on Palantir for the short term, but there is a potential trade here. Uh, and that's one thing I will say. You know, if you wanted to enter, I've been selling cash secured puts on this, but if you wanted to enter down here, set your stop loss around $10, you'd be looking at an RVR of 4.8, so nearly five, you'd be looking for a potential return of 16% and a potential loss of three and a half percent, which I think is a very, very good trade when you look at it from an RVR standpoint. But overall, that's really all I would do. Selling cash secured puts on this, potentially put credit spreads. But even at that, this thing has done nothing but go down for so long. Like you really are playing against the trend. It does seem, it does look like we are starting to find a bit of a bottom, but still you can't go trying to time these things, especially there's a lot of you know companies like this, Affirm being one of them, uh, SoFi being one of them, SDC, like a lot of these companies that are just very, very beaten down, but it doesn't mean they're going to completely recover. Neo being another one too. So just be careful, use proper risk management, it's something I want to bring to your attention. I'll continue to sell cash secure puts on it. And I'll continue to make videos. Hope you guys have a good day. Peace.